We are live. Good morning, guys. Even though no one is here yet, so I'm talking to myself. I'll wait for someone to arrive. In the meantime, welcome back to my channel. I am ADC and today is Tuesday morning. I'm still in Silver League. I haven't played this weekend, so I was kind of busy. And today we're going to discuss and try the new release, Monday release preview of this week, our friend Monozilk. It's a really interesting card, really, really strong, I think. So we're going to discuss him in a minute. Let's buy him for starters and let's see if someone is here. Nope, no one is here yet. So I'm going to keep him. As for the seal, I will wait for someone to arrive since I want to show you. Oh, hi Shaggy. So you're the first one. You're welcome in my channel again. So, Monozilk. First of all, uh, it's kind of it's kind of strange. This one is, I think, his skill set is uh, really unique in a way. Uh, he has this first criti two critical and backstab one hundred, a tiny tiny backstab, but uh, doubled by the critical. Of course, the yeah, <laughs> Shaggy is always first. Um, it's doubled by the critical in his value, but not in his um, in its value against the swords, of course, so he will deal 200 uh, damage, but only uh, remove 50 from your opponent's strengths. Uh, still, it's a, it's a pretty good backstab. And then, this massive hit, 1000 hit plus 250 for each sword for free red die. Nice. So, um, the thing is, uh, Monozilk, thanks to this uh, second skill, is um, a pretty competitive hero, I think, as for output goes, of course, but he is also uh, pretty rigid in his uh, roles, so he will need, probably, he will need um, the Colossus Caravan to be really, really effective. And then, third skill, oh, I noodle. I saw your, your videos, they are great. Um, so, uh, his first skill is a single blue die, hit 400 and dodge one. Dodge one, this dodge is very interesting since Monozilk will be a great um, hero against sword users thanks to the backstab and the dodge and also later uh, heavy hitters. So that's, that's pretty interesting. So, as I was saying, his output is really high. It can go as high as, high as um, 3,200 on some rolls with dodges and backstabs, so that's great. He is not as high as, for example, uh, Master Mage Kire, uh, but, uh, but Master Mage uh, probably has a crazy output thanks to the synergy with the seal. So we will see how Monozil can perform uh, with the seal. And also, um, he has a lot of counter mechanics, uh, backstab and dodge, of course. So it's very interesting, but uh, rigid in his output, in his roles, sorry. Uh, three red die heroes are only of two different uh, kinds. The one that rely exclusively on their uh, their skill with three red dices, um, like red dice, like, for example, um, Kabrakhan. And those here are um, uh, hook. And those heroes uh, can be used even without Colossi because you want to really you want to activate just that's that's only, only skill. So you're gonna try to uh, find your reds and uh, don't worry about anything else. But Monozilk um, will be will be truly effective only if uh, his second skill will be paired with at least one yellow activation and a blue activation. Otherwise, his output will uh, fall, especially without the yellow, of course. This yellow will provide oh, 1000 output on his second skill, so it's pretty uh, mandatory to, to, to play Monozilk effectively, effectively. So the second kind of cards with free reds are the ones that have, have rigid rolls, and Monozilk is one of them, and they need, absolutely need, the fourth roll, I think. So as for the seal goes, so Monozilk is a good candidate for at least three different seals. And I will start with the shield seal. Um, the shield seal is uh, perfect 
because um, this year is already a massive output dealer. So uh, another 400 unmodifiable damage, but it lacks unmodifiable damage. So 400 unmodifiable damage right from the start will be uh, useful, I think. So that's a good candidate. The second one is Thorn, just because Monozil can somehow, somehow suffer uh, from uh, Scarab, especially second skill Scarab like Alud, for example. So probably uh, Thorn could be effective, but uh, the majority of the cards uh, with with um, with Scarab that, that can be effective against Monozilk can hit only in third skill. So they will avoid they will avoid the Thorns until this hit, uh, the second skill hit of Monozilk is landed on their Scarab. So they can work around. Um, around Thorn. So Thorn is good, but I don't think it's the best. And then there's Resilience. So Resilience is um, probably, it's, it's my choice, I will go with Resilience, is um, basically as good as... Um, oh, sorry, I dropped him. Okay, so uh, as good as uh, Shield, as for output goes, uh, he, um, Resilience has a little bit more of um, possibilities against multi hitters, of course, so it can it can escalate uh, rather than be uh, fixed like shield. Uh, but Monozilk, I feel I feel Monozilk uh, already has a great a great um, a great matchup against heavy hitters, especially uh, sword users, thanks to the dodge and backstab. So I wanted him to be a, a bit more uh, resilient <laughs> uh, against uh, multi-hitters, so I think resilience is my first choice. Second one is shield and thorn is good as well. So here's the deal. So I was playing it with multi-hitters. So. so today we're gonna resume our zeal teams. So let's go find the zeals. So first of all, as I was saying, I truly want Caravan in the mix. Now Caravan, uh, I left him with Thorn, uh, but to be honest, I think now I don't know. I'm I'm Thorn. Ha <laughs> ha! Today is the day of practical jokes, guys. Um, I wanted to to try him with both Shield and Resilience. So now Resilience, of course will make him good, even even better against uh, multi-hitters, that's for sure. So you have to decide if you want to make him stronger overall, or you want to make him more specific against multi-hitters. I think, I feel that, that Caravan right now is good uh, after the patch, but he's still not uh, good enough to beat the heaviest hitters in the game, like for example Maruk. So I prefer to go with Resilience and um, turn Caravan into uh, a machine <laughs> against heavy hitters. So let's go for this one and then let's see what else. What else to play? So, of course Selene is a great card and Selene needs a Thorn since she suffers a lot from Scarab, so uh, I will leave her with Thorn. Also, a uh, Malascari is good. Mm. And she's probably better with Resilience now. Since, yeah, she's better with Resilience, so I will go with Resil on her. So I will play with Malascaria. I want Alud in my team. She's very flexible and now uh, less and less competitive players are playing Scarab, so they do not expect Scarab. As for the seal, okay, so I think Thorn is still better on a loot since Scarab will heal, and we want to heal as much as we can, so I will continue playing a loot with Resilience, and then, hmm, Golem of Marlock. Just I just like very much Marlot's Golem, and he is the ultimate um, card against sword users, so let's go with this one. This is a pretty good team, I think. Of course, 
Goddess Mar Goddess Mar of Marlock uh, needs the strength seal. So choose your hero. I will start with Carvan, right from the start. Mordzilk. Hmm. What you guys think about him? I think he's very, very good. Somehow, somewhat um, easy to counter with uh, dodges, but still, similar to Marlock, to be honest. Okay, we have a nearly perfect roll. Okay, perfect roll, so so, so Chewer <laughs> does not stand a chance against this caravan. Okay. Caravan is still one of the best Colossi out there, just thanks to him, his um, suppressive power and this backstab. So he's very useful against both multi-hitters and sword users. So this team is kind of a counter team. Counters swords with Marlock's Golem, counters uh, swords and multi-hitters with Caravan, again swords and heavy hitters this time with Monozilk, heavy hitters again with Alud, and then there's Malaskari that's kind of jack of all trades. Uh, Archmage. So what to do? Of course, all of these cards will win against Archmage, but I want to spare Marlock's Golem for later, just to have fun with you guys. So I will go with Monozilk and test him right. Oh, we're starting good. Perfect. A sword now. Mm, not the perfect roll, a sword or another one between the blue and the yellow would have been uh, best. But the best, but this way is still still more than enough to beat our friend Archmage. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. So easy. Right now I'm playing in lower leagues and it's kind of easy, of course, to climb. Let's go with Marlock's Golem. Of course, Grief has Backstab, so... Also, Hate has Backstab, but I don't care for Backstab in first skill right now. Oh, this one, Gisela is not probably a great player yet. He will become one, I'm sure. <laughs> but he will confront a Marlock's Golem in all of his might. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gisela, and also Reaper, but <laughs> Marlock is rampaging. Yep. <laughs> it's so funny to see Marlock's Golem in action. Why don't you? Why didn't you keep three red and two swords and yell? That's the highest damage. I'm not sure. I think the the, the highest damage is. Uh, three reds, one blue, one yellow, and a one sword. But I'm not sure. I'm gonna check it out on the new Erden Arena forum. So let's go for Monozilk. I wanna see him. So. Oh no, you're right. I miscalculated. Yeah, the highest roll is uh, that one. Yeah, with two swords, one single yellow, and, th and three reds. That's the highest damage with uh, 3,480 damage. So you're right. I forgot about that. I was I was searching for the Alter Devil Rainbow 3 that deals uh, 3,240 damage with dodge. So uh, so one of the two is the highest, and the other one is probably the most useful. Yeah, yeah. But this wasteland runner with only yellow and sword, it's a good. Good choice, yeah. Good suggestion. So I will try that role later. Very good. So another game with this team. I think a team as structured and uh, solid and as this one will be so much effective in lower leagues. But for 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 one time, I I, I will try to. Since this season, I'm I will not be able to play a lot since I'm really busy with work. I will try to show you how to climb. So I will not play um, between a season, uh, between a stream and, and the other one. So I will be in lower leagues and I will climb with you guys. Usually I climb in the uh, between in, in the first weekend I climb to the champion league and then play from from that 
but this time I want to try something different. So Halud is perfect here to counter his hit. Two poor points. Yeah. So cheap. Come on, guys. a yellow, please. Okay, that's. Oh, I I miss I misclicked with my mouse, but I'm still okay. <laughs> that's fine. So I was um, I was trying to uh, keep the die dice, and I and I clicked on reroll, but still Alud is <laughs> strong enough to win, nevertheless. Okay. So this one is called Winner with two N and two R's. So very good. Let's go with Monzilk here. Of course, I have seal and he does not, so that's a pretty good advantage. Oh, so let's try for the best output roll, as Shaggy was suggest so suggesting. Yeah, here we go. Let's go, Monozilk. Poor Sachin. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. 3000. That's great. So, Monzilk is is a great addition to these zeals, I think. Now, zeals have a lot of different counter mechanics, I think. They can be really effective. So, I will go with Malaskaya here. With dodge, she will dodge her this powerful hit. So, ooh, and I have a good start. Another blue or two reds, please. Mm, not perfect roll, but still. Still. Okay. Malaskari well, is a great card uh, for ex expert players. She's a very strategic card. Of course, now I'll lose against Ripper. But uh, Malaskari well, is great, I think. You're playing against a bot. Oh, he's a bot. Oh, how sad. But still, maybe eight points. Oh, I, I really, yeah, I, I hate bots. So I will unleash Marlux Golem. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, playing against bot is bad. But we're gonna see a powerful matchup with Marlux Golem triggering three times his repost, so he will hit six times. We will see 10,000 damage probably. <laughs> yeah, not 8,000, 8, but still good. Okay, that's fine. Eight points, GG easy. Ah, I hate bots. Let's go, let's climb, guys. Oh, no, 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 I want to change change team. So, different team. So this team is good, of course. If you want to play something solid to climb the ladder, then this team is perfect, I think. Maybe if you are not comfortable with using Malaskaria, you can use um, Silene. Silene is always great. Or someone like Spike the Fool is quite interesting. He needs an update on the, his output. But as for skill set goes, Spike is still actual uh, and powerful. So now, something different here. Hmm. Let me see. So as for, as for buff goes, Monzilk does not synergize well with a lot of them. And that's, uh, to be honest, that's a great thing. Otherwise, he would have, would have been uh, so much stronger. So he... He's synergic with Dodge, I guess, so I will play him with Nard and Gemini, of course. He's synergic with Shield, and that's okay. Uh, not Nothing else, since he will waste, I think, the critical, so it's not not great to use him with Artresil or, or Telender, for example, and he will waste even more uh, plus damage, so you don't want to play him with uh, Bloodsword or... Milad and something like that. So I will try um, a Marauder Marauder team with caravans. So let's find the Marauder Zeals. Where are they? Okay. Oh, wild. Mm, of course, uh, Monozik does not synergize well with. Oh, Alud was a Marauder. But she does not synergize well. So, ooh, our friend the Shadow, Spike the Fool, why not? And 
So Nard, yeah, I will play with Gemini first. I really prefer Gemini. So, and Gemini is best with uh, Rosius right now, I think. So, yeah. Rapid Talent. Ah, Rapid Talender. That's a good, good, good su suggestion. I wanna try him. Is here he is, Rabbit Talender. Mm. Max Stub, that's good. And he's Berserk. So he is... Mm. I, will, I will try him later. I will try him later since he's very interesting. And uh, yeah. Okay, we have Token Black Guy with... Mm, with a Runic team based on multi-hitters maybe, but okay, Centurion Marius is always uh, difficult to deal with. Hmm. So Gemini is not no good since his shield bash will hmm, destroy me, so I will try with the shadow. Let me see what we can do. Hmm. So mimic. I will mimic mm, the room. That's not... I'm not interested. In that, so oh come on, a single okay, at least a yellow. Mm, I will lose. This start from Centurium Centurium is great, one of the the best starters in the game with shield bash. And now with the shield seal being uh, 400, he is even more effective. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I need to reconsider Centaurium since now with the shield at 400 he is, he is really good. So he is gonna use Astria, I think. Hmm, it's gonna be a difficult match. Corizondala is effective. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Caravan wants to... <laughs> I haven't played Caravan in a, in a quite a long time, so now he wants to <laughs> unleash his strength, wanna impress me. I played um, Zeals for such a long, long time. Uh, my favorite team of all time was the uh, Old Scarab team, with Caravan Bess and then Alud, uh, Ziani and, um, and Karadin. That was my best, my favorite team of all time. I really liked him. I really liked that team. And I played it for, I don't know, three, four seasons when I was still competing. So that was good. So I will lose with Carlos and Dalla, of course, with Monozilk. So let me see. So I will go with Gemini here. And the plan is to go with Monozilk. Okay. And I'm trying to dodge as much as I can, but nope. Monozilk is in, needs to be an attacker, otherwise Corantia will bulwark him, and we don't want that. So. Mm -hmm. Maybe with another, <laughs> with a perfect roll, we could have won, maybe, no, not. Okay, no. Okay, so now let's go with Monozilic here, and then it will be <laughs> it will be tough since I don't think Spike the Fool can win against Fena with this much damage, nor Corantia to be honest. Even though maybe with Corantia I can win with Spike. Yeah, he's thinking. Oh, okay, so Fina. So with a perfect roll, we can win. Okay, we have a perfect roll. But, oh, oh Spellbreaker, I forgot about that. Hmm. So we will need this other critical, but we, we have to hope. That's not, okay, single Spellbreaker, that's fine. Okay, now, okay, uh, we were lucky, guys. I don't know if we're gonna win. 
surely our yeah we'll we'll win surely our uh, resilience helped this time against spellbreaker <laughs> and now with spike the fool we can arrange something funny since Corantia relies a lot on source hmm. single yellow since bulwark will prevent higher damage yeah i want some blues though and I, at least mm, i don't know purify okay i will go with this one but okay so we will seal away her strength i guess at least a bit but her runic shock will be really effective Hmm, I don't know. Rick Shock. Yeah. So one hit, one, two. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So Spike the Fool was good enough. Okay, very good. So now we're gonna play with Rabbit Talender, as Noodle suggested. Rabbit Talender, I uh, when it first came out, I was crazy with him. I thought, that's a card I'm gonna like. Uh, since I, I really like extreme cards with one purpose and really uh, focused, so, and the Rabbit Lender is, uh, it, it's perfect for my tastes. But I wasn't able to find a way to play him effectively. My, but maybe now it's the time, I don't know. So I'm gonna remove from this team our friend the Shadow even though she's good, but I'm gonna play something more fun. Okay, in Rabbit Lender, what's the best course of action with him? Okay, I see three possible solutions for him. The first one is simple, it is Stench. But Stench, I think, will work against my Berserk. Just, um, this backstab here is just as strong as it should be uh, before turning um, too strong and seal away his swords and I need them for the Berserk, so Stench will not be effective. Then I see Shield. Shield is good since Rabbit Lander lacks output and so maybe Shield is the way to go. And then we have of course Resilience, but... hmm. Maybe Resilience is best, since Rabbit Lander will be much more effective against uh, multi-hitters in third skill. So maybe Resilience will help that matchup. Yeah, I will apply Resilience. Okay. Yes, that's, that's my call. And let's go. Okay, oh, we have hmm, Tudzafin with an interesting mixed team. Oh, Rabbit Lander will be really effective against Valkyrian in defense. Hmm. But I guess we're not gonna see that, unfortunately. I will start with Monzilk, I will collect a win. GG easy. Hmm. I at least hope for, for it. Okay. Oh, Valkyrie has dodge. Yeah, <laughs> today I'm quite sleepy. Mm. What if? Mm -hmm. What if we try something fun here? <laughs> okay, we're gonna lose. I tried something <laughs> stupid and I failed miserably. <laughs> okay, our um, resilience will be helpful, but I don't think it will be enough, or maybe it will. <laughs> okay, that's officially crazy. We won. It's all on resilience. <laughs> so, okay, <laughs> let's forget about that. Okay. Mm. Mm. Eglantine. 
Hagelin time will beat us, I think. So I will sacrifice Carvan here. Okay. Perfect roll, but still we're gonna lose probably. Yeah, we will. So as you can see, uh, resilience on Mozilla can be effective against extreme multi-hitters. So that's why I wanted resilience on her, just because um, shield is good, but she needs better uh, matchups against uh, multi-hitters. She's already good with heavy heavy hitters. So, huh? Can Gemini beat Blanche even in attack? I think so. Let's go. Let's go find out. Oh, Master Mage. So he wants to win. And I want to shoot to dodge. Okay. Perfect roll for Master Mage. He will kick our asses. For good. So I saw a lot of players complaining or at least being worried about uh, the fact that Thorn now is not as good as Resilience, but don't worry guys, the difference is really tiny. So, of course, I have to play with the best one to show you guys, so maybe even if the difference is as slight as this, I will play with what I feel is the best, but you don't have to, uh, to think that's uh, the only way. Okay, oof, no, 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 come on, okay, that's better, and then, this team was not good, I'm sorry to the Finn, but Blanche does not synergize well with Monozilk, and so, anyway, as you, see, as, you as you guys see, the Rabbit Lander is so difficult to use, I, I, ah, I feel like it's so so difficult. I almost lo lost against Blanche of Babylonia with a bad roll. You see? So so we need dodges. We already have two, but with another one I will be okay. Okay. Mm. Not a perfect roll. I would have wanted another. Okay, okay. He went for a crazy roll. It's not going to work. Yeah, dodges, of course, but I will seal away his strength. Yep. And I will dodge his hits. So, yep. Spike the Fool. Very good. So, Rabbit Tlender, I still like him, but I, don't, I really don't know how to use him, guys, to be honest. So, so now we're going to do something different. I want to try with a team with maybe a shield. Hmm. A team with a shield buffer. So let me check. What's the best shield buffer? Hmm. I don't know. Probably Coria still with 400, but it's. Hmm. Let me see Coria. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where is it? Corian, I forgot. Okay, so oh, shield 450, that's not bad. But, and then there's our friend from Kotobas, Furago, but Furago is good only with humans. And then there's the Hong Chai guy, I forgot the name. Where is he? Okay. Apagori, of course, but only if Om tries. So let's try with Korea here. Yeah, okay. Korea right now is with shield and that's perfect. And let's resume the zeals. Okay, so let's try trying for something funny here. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm, Iron Mask is another card I really like. I really like. So, with this much shield, now Selene. Ah, Selene is interesting. Cork. Cork. Let's see Cork. I don't know how much shield he delivers. Hmm. 240. So with two activation, he is better than Korea. Yeah, let's go with let's go with ugly quark. Why not? That's something I does not play often, so why not? I do not play often. My English is terrible today. So let's go with Shuffle B, why not? And <laughs> I wanted to try something different, so why not? Hmm, our friend Terrific. Yeah, and Terrific, I will go with the Shield Seal just because he is a uh, a heavy shock guy, and shock with dog, uh, with the shield is good since all unmodifiable damage. Also, he is already really strong against heavy hitters, so I think um, Terrific is another guy that with um, a slight buff on his numbers will be terrific <laughs> today practical joke day in the in the masterly even so why not okay so we have mm, so sushi will lose a lot against caravan yuling is good since he's based on heal okay so we're gonna try to take our friend Yulin by surprise with swords. Let's see if I can pull out this prank. Yeah, <laughs> she does not expect that. I can assure you. <laughs> Shadow Jack. That's a good, a good role. I guess someone like Yulin. Oh. She went heavy on fireball, that's bad for me, but let me see. We sh yeah, we will win nevertheless. That was expected. <laughs> that's a good one. So now, mm. against Sushi, Terrific is good. Against Nexiram, not so much. Against Sushi, I would go with Terrific. Yep. Mm, perfect shock, but I want to terrorize. Ooh, but this this role is very good. So one of the best roles of Terrific. So I need to keep him, keep it. Where is our friend Cork? The last one to come out. Okay, he avoided strength. That's fine. Mm -hmm. You're quite a jokester today. <laughs> yeah, no, today I'm pretty happy. Yeah, why not? Yeah, today is a good day, I think. It's a tough uh, period on work, but something is turning in my favor, so I'm, I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty happy today. The ugly quirk. Mm hmm. So Milad, can we beat Milad? But I want to shield, because I want to try Monozilk. So I will, I don't want to win, I want to shield. Mm. Still, we can win, I guess. I don't know. Of course, Agricork has the shield seal, that's a given. No, we're, we're not going to win, I think. Okay. Just one shield, though, to Malzilk, that's not good. Now, probably uh, Korea is still better, since without Colossi, Korea is better, so later we're going to try that. Let's go for Malzilk. Ooh, perfect roll is coming. Not this one. Okay. Perfect roll again. 
best damage possible. Sorry, aberration, you're gonna be destroyed. Nice to hear that, yeah. Ooh, my last year of college and I have exams, so good luck to you, Shaggy. I know what you're dealing with. <laughs> Hell, it's my work, basically. You know, guys, today is a uh, <laughs> personal day, so I will explain to you what I do. So I'm a, I'm a teacher, I'm a, an expert in um, techniques to uh, learn new things. So I'm, um, I teach um, methods <clears throat> sorry, of study, mnemonics, so techniques to use your memory and to um, prepare exams, to learn new languages, to learn softwares. So I'm an expert in learning and that's what I do. So, <laughs> so I know what you're dealing with. If you guys knew the Italian, <laughs> I would link to my work page on uh, on Facebook. I I make videos and I do online content mar marketing on my subject, so learning. But it's in Italian, so <laughs> I don't think you guys would understand that. But anyway, if you go, if you search my name on Facebook, you're gonna find my work page where I put oh double shield here where I put videos but enough with the <laughs> enough with the marketing <laughs> let's return to play I, I'm not supposed to talk about my work here <laughs> Cory I in the meantime draw against a, a bad Selene so terrific is <laughs> it's a beast of shield and shock here. Uh, Silene, so... Oh! <laughs> uh, okay, Shaggy, so write me in private, so <laughs> I cannot, I cannot uh, use this stream to make work deals. So, uh, as for Terrific, I will go with ter Terrific here, so <laughs> you need to learn that so bad. Okay. So write me in private and we will see what we can do. Okay, another sword? Perfect one. Okay. I really like Terrific. I used to play him a lot. There was a time in which he was played at the highest level, but it wasn't a long time. Maybe um, a couple of seasons. That's great. Mm-hmm. So let's go with monosilk. That's the one we are testing today. So what's your Facebook again? <laughs> okay, so search my name, I will write to you in a in a minute in the chat. So hi Joshua. Search for Alessandro De Concini. You will you will find search for this one, and you will find my perfect role. <laughs> you will find my uh, work page, and you can write me there. Maybe I will add to my personal Facebook page, my uh, personal page, not the work one, but the personal one you cannot find on this search of Facebook since I have my. Um, security and or uh, privacy high on Facebook so sorry if I try to cut this uh, talk but I'm not feeling comfortable playing <laughs> and talking about my work so oh aberration let's go for shuffle bee oh we need fireballs here guys not terrors Another, ah, that's not good, but our carbon here is a monster of defense. Faceless, it's pretty good though. Hmm. So we will see. Okay, we was stomp stomped by aberration. Anyway, we cannot lose this match. Uh, at worst, we can... Hmm. 
Mm. Okay, so perfect roll, maybe? Nope. But still. Mm. <laughs> great, great roll for Faceless. Okay, that's fine. As you guys see, in these lower leagues, like Silver League, for example, you just need a good team. You just need a team with synergy, structured, maybe with a glossy, with a fourth roll, and of course, if you have seal, that's better, to climb. That's really easy. Uh, uh, in the second week of the season, like we are now, that's even more true, since the best players already climbed up. They are on ch in Champion League and maybe uh, in Master League, even though I don't know, uh, has the Master League opened yet? Uh, oh, I'm first in Silver League, so next. Mm -hmm. See the Master League? Yeah, it's not open yet, so the best players are already at the top of the Champion League. So in, in Silver League and Bronze League, you're gonna uh, find just new players so uh, so it's the perfect um, way to climb. So uh, you have two different options to climb easily. The first is to start playing uh, at the start of the league. So um, after the league closed, an hour later, you're going to start uh, spamming uh, play uh, games and you will climb uh, easily in the first weekend but you have to play really a lot. And that was what Buro Blanco used to, to, to do uh, at in all times. He was the first one to climb and the first one to stay at the top of the, um, of the ladder, so it was very good. And the other thing you can do is what I'm doing right now, so wait for a couple of days, wait there, and uh, let the pro players go to the Champion League and then climb. When all the great players are already gone, you can start climbing. <laughs> so that's that's fine. So, I want to remove Shuffleby. She failed me. You failed this CD. That was... Do you guys watched Arrow? It was a TV series with... It was not so good, to be honest. Uh, so... Mm -hmm. I want synergy with shield, so I wanna use Selene, but I want I will apply the shield seal on her. Yeah, she's better with seal now. And um, and Malaskaria again. Why not? Let's play like that. Okay, Shaggy. <laughs> So, oh, we have a strength team against a Russian bear, 88. And this one is gonna be good since it's all sealed up. So we're gonna need the caravan for later. I don't want to waste him right now. So I'm gonna go with Selena here, just to start with a, a win, maybe against Captain Al, I think. Fulong is it's interesting. I didn't have the chance to play him since I, I always feel that there's something, someone better than him to play. But he is interesting. This shield three times strength is massive. Okay, so we're trying to win with Selene against Captain Al. Perfect roll. Just the sword, and it will be perfect roll. Okay, he went for the full. Strength buff, that's fine. So we we have the upper end since we have two uh, two heroes with backstab, but um, Fulong is going to be tough since he uses strength right from the start, so he is impermeable to to backstab. That's a great feature of him. Oh, Ogwe Kage, so mm. Mm -hmm. that's another one tough to deal with. I really like Ogwe Kage, one of my favorite cards. Just uh, because I like these extreme cards, so... When it came out, he was even stronger than it is now. He had uh, a strength uh, value higher, so it was... Oh, wait, no, we have... Okay, 
I, for a minute, I feared a rage quit and I really don't like that. Hmm. So now Ogre Kage is bad for us. He will stomp Monozilk thanks to the dodges. Also Caravan. And also Malascaria, I think. So I'm gonna sacrifice someone and, and it's gonna be Malascaria, but we're gonna lose, I think. Okay, we have a perfect roll, but it's tough to win against Ogokage, yeah. We're gonna definitely lose. He's a, an amazing attacker, even without buffs. He is really amazing. Great card. He does what he does perfectly, and he does not care for nothing else. Clear, simple matchups with him. You know what you're gonna expect. And he's gonna perform well. Very good. So now, Korya. Can Korya beat Mastermar? Hmm. That's... It depends. So I'm not worried about she, but I'm worried about Fulong, to be honest with you. If we win with Korya against... Oh, against she, we're not going to win, I think. So we're going to need to shield as much as we can. Oh, come on, Korya. No! Oh, that's so bad. Oh, no! He's going to destroy us. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to pair Mastermind with Caravan. And then, hmm, I will try to do my best against Fulong. And I think with Monozilk, we have a good chance. I don't know if this she move was the best one. I don't know. He won, but now maybe she could have won against Caravan. I don't know. Maybe with a good roll. Mastema, <laughs> Mastema against Caravan. That's for sure, since we're gonna need those backstabs against Fulong. So I think Russian Bear kinda oh perfect roll kinda missed the perfect order to go with, I think. Oh he has a perfect roll but still it's not gonna win. Um he would have needed to go first with Masama, then in defense with Shi and in attack with Fulong. Now he finds himself in defense with Fulong and now my backstabs are gonna cripple his performance. Even though he's gonna have a great shield, nevertheless, that's for sure, but... Okay. Okay. A dodge will come in handy. Oh. 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 That's bad. I was greedy. I shouldn't have kept that blue. Yeah. <laughs> Fulong has, in the meantime, Fulong has 2,460 shield, that's okay. Yep, Russian Bear made a mistake, but still was too strong for me. That's bad. Okay, so I'm gonna skip this team and return. Oh, Zeal the Shadow. We have limited options to with this monozil guy. He is pretty much a standalone. Yeah, it's time for Nard. So let me see what we can do with Nard. Nard is weak. Let's be honest, guys. So I want to turn her at least into a viable um, counter card. So that's my reasoning. Uh, she's gonna lose. She's gonna lose with the dodge, uh, sorry, with the dodge seal, with the shield seal, with the resilience seal, with the form seal, she does not have enough output. That's that's clear. So at least with this stench seal, she's gonna be effective against pirates and kotobas. So I'm gonna go with stench on her. At least she's gonna be she's gonna be useful in some matchups. That's my reasoning. So I'm gonna use Selene. Selene, I I always make this mistake. And again, my beloved 
Marlox Golan. Let's go. So I lost a lot of points. I was near the Gold League. Uh, and now Kimura, Kimura, 1988. Let's start with Nard. Kimura is a bronze player. Okay, so Moira is a pretty interesting one and we're gonna lose against her. So we're gonna try to dodge as much as we can. Perfect dodge roll, that's okay. We're gonna at least dodge her powerful fireball. Now, as you guys know, as you guys noticed, now Nard is really good against swords. That's at least a, a single good matchup. Maybe no, we're not gonna win. Or maybe we are. Oh, that's interesting. Thanks to the. <laughs> Thanks to the minus strength with stench. So, okay, as a giro. As a giro. Now we have Monozilk and Caravan with great amount of dodges. So, I'm gonna go with Silene. I can easily win against as a giro with Silene. Perfect. This roll is more than enough. And then I'm gonna close with Monozilk. It's gonna be so effective against both Joan and. Dragast. So, I guess Johan is not gonna be able to pull his brave uh, skills out. No way. So, in the meantime, Silene is dealing with Asajiro. Silene is still one of the best cards in the game, and Asajiro is a great card for starters, for new buys, but against someone like Silene, he does not stand a chance. And now Monozilk with free dodges. So Nard is is becoming effective. So when you have a card like Nard that will not win against good uh, heroes, you want to at least make him make it uh, ooh, perfect tool, make it um, useful in some matchups. So now Nard is pretty specific, and she's a good asset. You're gonna if against the Kotoba team, now you have Caravan. Monozilk and Marlox Golem, so you're gonna be you basically gonna win. Against a pirate team also, against a mixed team, there's always the single um, sword users and, and maybe you're gonna destroy him. So Zills now are much more into oh two points. Oh, that's bad. I'm gonna play again. Are much more interested in uh, counter mechanics than uh, Rude output. Ooh, uh, an Italian player, EAI Scaglia. Hi, man. EAI are a group of Italian players on Facebook. Of course, I am a part of it. Okay, so Tsuro, I will go with Carbon here. Even though my backstab will not. Mm, yeah, maybe I should have gone with Monozilk. Yeah. That's a mistake. Okay. Yeah, the correct choice would have been to go with uh, Monozilk. Still, my fireballs would be effective, but... And, of course, I have resilience, so... That's fine. Maybe I'm gonna win, nevertheless, but... I don't know. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna win. Barely. But still, okay. Now, Gemini is a problem against Monozilk, <laughs> and also against Silene and Marlux Golem. But I'm gonna go with Silene here. Yeah, just because maybe if I can pull a double activation. Oh, it's a roll so good I cannot re-roll it. Yeah, Gemini has the perfect roll, so maybe he she's got the upper hand. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. 
but it was too much. Silene is a powerhouse. Now after the nerf she is easier to counter, but still so strong. So he Ogwe Kage. Hmm. I will go with Nard here. No, 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 no. I, I don't want to try to win. I want to dodge. Okay. So now I think, oh, he, oh, he missed Terror. That's, ha, he's gonna lose. Maybe. So maybe <laughs> Nard, <laughs> I, I talked trash about Nard so much, and that's the second time we won. <laughs> but he, he forgot about, uh, he, he missed the terror, and of course Nard has now Stench, so <laughs> yeah, as you guys see, she can be effective like that. So, we are, okay, let's try to enter with this team the Gold League, and then I'm gonna close this stream. Dragonite 31 with an Amalonian team, but Great Duke with plus strength. That's not the best thing, and also Death guys with she with dodge. Uh, it's I don't know. He's nice to see him, but uh, it's a good color. But no, no, it's not the best seal. My suggestion for new buys that has oh better roll for Nard that has um that have, sorry, um, few seal, few seals, and you don't have the perfect one, or you don't know what is the perfect one since you are not expert in the game yet, that's fine. Uh, any pro player was once a new buy, so that's fine, that's perfectly fine. So if you guys don't know how to use properly the seals, and you have a few of them, just don't put it on, on the cards, just spare them for later, okay? Uh, that's, that's the best advice I can give you, since seals right now are tough to collect, difficult uh, to have, and so you don't want to waste them. Now I'm con probably gonna lose against Dragonite, <laughs> but that's not the point of the uh, discussion, so you need, oh no, I won barely, but it was still, so you, with a, with a good seal, Great Duke would have beat me, okay, so you don't want to waste them, just spare them for later, that's, that's perfectly fine, okay, that's the best advice, or ask more, uh, more expert players, I think they will be more than uh, happy to to explain to you but I really also if you are a new player you don't need to use uh, skills so skills are mandatory for guys that want to climb as up as the Mars League okay but if you want to play in silver league and even in gold league you can definitely play with without seals so don't don't use them. Just wait. Be patient. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, I guess. Hmm. Okay, perfect roll. Mirror match, and I'm gonna win. Since I have a better roll, but not only that, I have resilience of 80, and he's plus damage of 40. I'm higher than him. And also, I have a, bad, a good roll, and he does not have a good roll, so I won. Let me see what... Okay, five, just one more match. Oh no, I was promoted in Gold League, that's, that's fine. So guys, I'm gonna close this stream. As for Monozilic, I think he is a great addition to the Zeal. He is great with both Resilience and Shield, and also Thorn, if you want to. So it's a great card. I strongly suggest you to buy him and to play him with uh, the Colossus, with the Caravan, Tuesday Motivation with ADC, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a motivator, but I can be quite effective in that area. <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, so uh, 
it's a great card for those of you who wants to play again Zeals at the highest levels. I think now with Monozilk uh, and the, the new Caravan and the new Seals, I think the Zeal, the Monozil team is again uh, suited for the Master League. So I think we're gonna see a lot of uh, a lot of good teams in Master League with Zeals on that on yeah, and also Nard with uh, Stench is good. So that's very good. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. We will see each other probably on Friday or uh, Saturday. I don't know for the X release of this week. And as for today, ADC is out. Bye, guys.